everyone, hope you're doing well today. We are gonna be talking about how to choose a CRNA school or what some factors are that you should look for when you're searching for CRNA schools. Now, this is my personal opinion. I'm gonna tell you what was important to me and what I find important, but you might have a different opinion and there's so many considerations when you're choosing a CRNA school. So don't take this as the only considerations that you could have. There's so many that I could name, but I'm gonna tell you my top five. So number one, I'm just gonna be real with you here and that is wherever I got in. I would have went to whatever school I got into, even if it wasn't my top choice. I ended up getting into the school I wanted to go to, so that was really exciting and I was very thankful for that. But if I had gotten into one of the other schools I applied to as a backup, I would have went there. Getting into CRNA school is very competitive, as I'm sure you know. And honestly, I think that you need to apply to a lot of different schools so you have a ton of different options, even if those are not your favorite schools ever, if you really wanna to go to school now. If you don't mind waiting a while and applying a few times, you could just apply to one school, but I chose to apply to several because I wanted to go ahead and get started. Number two for me, the second most important thing is the clinical experience. And this kind of includes a variety of factors. I wanted to go somewhere that had clinicals at a level one trauma center. I wanted to go somewhere that didn't have anesthesia residence because that means that the SRNAs get all of the cases. I've heard of programs that have an anesthesia residency and a CRNA school having problems and having some like territorial issues with who gets what cases. Now that's just hearsay, I obviously didn't go to these schools, but where I am at, there is no anesthesia residency. So the SRNAs get all of the cases from cardiac to brain surgery to trauma to anything you could possibly imagine, we get to do it. And that was very important to me. We also have a high risk OB center here. So we do a lot of high risk labor and delivery. The trauma center is really great. We have a very good cardiac center and we just have an awesome clinical experience. Um, we go to about six or seven different clinical sites and they're all kind of within the same hospital system, which was another thing that's important to me because if you're going to 12, 13, 14, 15 clinical sites, yes, going to all those different sites is a good experience, but in my opinion, you're spending so much time just trying to get oriented that you don't really get to focus on your anesthesia practice. Now all the different sites we go to do the same kind of charting, so that's really helpful. And the systems are different, but they're similar. So it's very nice that we're used to everything when we switch sites, it doesn't take that long to get our footing and we're able to just focus on providing anesthesia and our anesthesia practice versus getting oriented to a whole new hospital every time. So factor number three for me is front-loaded versus integrated programs. Now I spend a lot of time thinking about this and I, honestly, I didn't have a dead set one or the other, but now that I'm in it and now that I'm almost done, I really prefer the integrated program because I learn a lot better when I'm practicing something and when you're having classes and clinical at the same time, to me, it helps solidify the information. It helps you understand it better and it just helps me remember everything better because I would learn something in class and then go do it in clinical the next day. I feel like personally, there's nothing wrong with a front-loaded program, but for me going to class for a whole entire year before starting clinical would have been more difficult for me. So I really prefer the integrated system. Factor number four for me was location. Location is so important to me. The main thing there was cost of living. I didn't want to go to school in New York City or somewhere where the cost of living was extremely high and my rent was going to be very high and paying for parking was going to be very high and things like that. So I went to school in a low cost of living area. It's actually extremely low cost of living here. And also along with location comes where do you live compared to where are your clinical sites. I did not want to travel for clinical. I did not want to have those extra expenses and that extra stress of having to travel very far away for clinical. So where I live, all my clinical sites are within, most of them are actually within a 10 minute radius, but all of them are within 30 to 40 minutes. So there's no overnight travel required here. And that was something that was just really important to me. That might not matter to you. And if it doesn't, that's fine. But for me, it did. And last but not least, we have number five, which everybody thinks about and that is is cost. So I wanted to go to a program that was under $100,000. That was kind of my goal. There are many programs that are over that and there are a lot of programs that are pretty far under that. Now that all the schools are switching over to doctorate programs in 2022, the price of CRNA school tuition is just gonna go up a little bit just obviously because of that factor. Um, when there was master's programs, you could find many cheaper programs, but now that we're all gonna be doctorates, everybody's gonna be paying a little bit of a higher rate. And I decided to go straight for my doctorates right away because I didn't want to ever have to go back to school in the future, feel like I didn't have like my terminal degree. If that doesn't matter to you, that's fine, but you're not gonna have that option for much longer. You're gonna to have to get your doctorates. 
So when I was looking at schools, um, in addition to cost, this is just another little factor that I didn't include as its own because it doesn't matter anymore now that they're all switching to doctorates, but I did look at master's versus doctorates and I only wanted to go to doctorates programs. So there you go. There's my top five factors that I think are important when you're looking for a CRNA school. What is important to you? What is the most important thing to you? I really want to know, so leave that in the comments down below. Maybe I can talk about that some more. Some other important things that I didn't consider in my top five are class size. Um, you don't want to go to a program with two too big of a class size, which none of them really have, but you know, sometimes if you have less students, you get more one-on-one -on -one attention. But I also didn't want to go to a tiny program. I wanted to have enough students in the class to have a different experience with everybody. And then accreditation. Um, I don't know of any CRNA schools that aren't accredited. That would be really hard to get clinical sites and whatnot, but you wanna make sure they're accredited. And the brand name of the school or the reputation of the school could also be a factor for you. That doesn't really matter to me because honestly, I think when you get your degree and you get out into practice and you prove yourself, what school you went to doesn't really matter. It was the same way in nursing school. That didn't really matter to me, but to some people that really matters. So if that's important to you, that could also be a factor. Another thing you may wanna consider is the board pass rates. This is pretty important but it's also kind of a personal thing. I know how I study and I know that even if a school didn't have a 99% pass rate, I know that I could study for boards and pass them without relying on the school's pass rate, if that makes any sense, because I'm pretty good at self-studying. But not trying to sound like I think I'm gonna pass boards or I already know I'm gonna pass boards. I'm just saying like based on my personal experience in the past, I'm good at self-studying. So the board pass rates wasn't a huge issue for me. I honestly looked them all up, but I didn't really consider like down at the percent which one was better. But that is something to take into consideration when you're looking at different schools. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And I hope it taught you some things to look for in schools that maybe you didn't consider before. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really love making these videos and helping educate everybody on nursing and CRNA school and everything else that I talk about. It's really fun and I've met a lot of awesome people through this channel so I just really appreciate your support. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you next week.